Batman The Long Halloween Part 1 Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all well. In this video we are going to be reviewing Batman The Long Halloween Part 1 which is the first instalment of a two-part series and is the latest DC Universe animated original movie and is based on the 13 issue comic book arc of the same name which is really really cool and this movie is based relatively early on in Batman's history as he is transitioning from having mob goons as the main villains to having dressed up super villains in his rogue gallery which is where the Halloween aspect of the title is coming into play and also this movie's special is very dark, it's got a bit of a tinge of noir in its style as well and it's really interesting as Jeff Loeb was the creator and writer of the original comic book arc before he then went into Marvel television to produce a lot of their shows but as far as this video is concerned I'm going to be breaking everything down for you to do with Batman The Long Halloween Part 1 in this video review. So there is a mysterious new killer in Gotham City known as Holiday as he is killing someone every holiday season which is pretty much once a month which leads Batman, Commissioner Gordon and District Attorney Harvey Dent to team up together to work out who is the murderer in this mystery. Now it's really interesting from a positive point of view as the murder mystery aspect of the comic book arc and this animated movie special in terms of working out who is the guilty party from all of the different characters which I think is really really interesting. Also the family aspect is really really cool. You have the Falcone family, you have the Wayne family, you have the Dents and you have the Gordons as well and they really do develop all of the family relationships both intrinsically and extrinsically as well which is really really cool. There are loads of characters in this special as well and there will be more characters in part two as well but they don't stuff it so you don't feel like there's too many characters but there's enough for it to feel exciting and as with most Batman animation movies this movie is also pretty dark as well. However from a negative point of view I do feel like certain aspects of this movie are a little bit slow especially in the first act. It does take a little while to get used to but you know I understand why they're doing it because they do need to set everything up and they are working from 13 issues to create this narrative and also they do do a lot of setup which will obviously be paid off in the next installment but you know that being said it does still work really well as its own entity and it works pretty well from a storyline point of view. So DC animated original movies have been really successful with their voice acting thus far and I'm really pleased to say that Long Halloween doesn't break that tradition so let's go through them one by one. So first up we of course have Jensen Ackles from the Supernatural franchise and the upcoming third season of The Boys as well and he is voicing Batman and Bruce Wayne. It did take a little while to get used to him but from the second act onwards he does such a good job in terms of capturing the younger more earlier on version of the Batman character and the Bruce Wayne character as well and I think he did a phenomenal job when he was voicing the Red Hood character in Under the Red Hood so it does take a little bit of time to transition from that voice into the Batman voice but he does do a really really good job. Next up we have Josh Dumal, fresh of the set of Jupiter's Legacy which is such a shame that that show got cancelled but anyway in this film he is voicing the Harvey Dent character and he does a really good job in terms of playing the somewhat darker aspects of this character. This is before he is transitioning into the Two-Face character and you can really tell that you know this character is comfortable bending the rules and going down the somewhat darker path than maybe what you would expect from a district attorney. Next up we have Jack Quaid who is playing the Alberto Falcone character and he just does such a good job as well and I thought this character was super interesting. He's always overlooked by his father but he definitely has daddy issues as he is always trying to impress his father and try to get involved with the other gang members but he wants to be authentic to himself so I just think it's such an interesting dynamic with this character especially then when Batman and Harvey Dent get involved as well I think it's really really interesting obviously Jack Quaid is brilliantly playing the character in The Boys he's going to be in the upcoming Scream reboot and he's also going to soon be voicing the Superman character in the upcoming Superman animated series called The Adventures of Superman which would be really really interesting Next up we have Billy Burke from the Twilight franchise and over here he's playing the Commissioner Gordon character and both from a design point of view and from a character outlook point of view I feel like this character is very similar to how he's depicted in the Batman Year One movie. Next up we have Troy Baker who does a brilliant job 
in terms of voicing the Joker character. At some points, I actually thought there was the original voice actor, Mark Hamill himself, who was playing the character, but Troy Baker does such a good job in really tapping into the brilliant voice that Mark Hamill created for this character. Next up, we have Naya Rivera, who is voicing Catwoman and Selena Kyle, and she very tragically passed away after voicing this character. And she did such a good job in really bringing out the Catwoman aspects and really bouncing off the Batman character really, really well as well. Like I said, this is relatively early on in this story arc and it's just really interesting to see these two characters, especially after the revelations came out about the depiction of these two characters in future comic book series. We also have other really great supporting cast, for example, the Falcone character and the other characters within the Arkham Asylum as well. And so from a casting character's point of view, they do such a good job in this movie. <laughs> So from a visuals point of view, like I said before, it does feel very dark and noir based and I feel like from a style and shading point of view, it's a bit of a blend of year one and The Killing Joke, but you know, it does feel very cinematic. So it doesn't feel like an extended version of a TV series episode. It definitely feels like a movie special and I feel like they did such a good job in terms of splitting all of the 13 issues for this title across two animated movies and they definitely use the runtime really, really well in this movie. <laughs> So in terms of comparison, myself and a lot of other fans out there have been waiting for quite a long time for The Long Halloween to be converted into an animated movie special. I think it will also be inspired in terms of the storyline for the upcoming The Batman movie starring Robert Pattinson. So that would be really, really interesting. But in terms of comparing it to the other titles, I think it's a lot stronger than Year One and The Killing Joke. I did prefer The Dark Knight Returns and Under the Red Hood as well. And I think it's on the same level as the recently released Batman The Soul of the Dragon and Batman Mask of the Phantasm. So I think it's in really great company and I think it's a really great new addition within this series. So overall, I really enjoyed Batman The Long Halloween Part 1. I think it's a really, really cool mystery. I think all of the Batman characters just lend themselves so well to have this murder mystery angle, which really does make this series and the comic book series and the movie special really, really exciting. I do feel like they could have pushed certain aspects a little bit further, but you know, that being said, I cannot wait to see what's going to happen in the next part, which is going to be released in a couple of weeks, which will be absolutely awesome. But as far as the first part is concerned, I'm going to give it a solid 6.5 out of 10. I'd love to hear what you think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.